All right, so we are back and continuing to light our level. You can see the result that we've got in here is very much like a room that is lit by, you know, yellow tungsten bulbs. And you can kind of see why we turned down the brightness on uh, these discs up top, because we're getting already a lot of orange light, but we're going to balance that out by getting some white light uh, coming off of these fluorescent tubes just a little bit later. For now, what I want to do is focus on the back room for a minute, give it a little attention. These discs that we have here on the wall look like they should be emitting some light. In fact, I'd like to think that these guys would actually make the room primarily blue, and that they'd kind of push out, kind of dominate these yellowish lights on the wall. Or at least that's the look that I'd like to go for. So we're going to grab all of these discs back here in the back, and let's go ahead and open up our properties, jump into the light mass settings, and currently the emissive boost on these is set to 0.6. Let me set those back to their default of 1, and we're going to switch on use emissive for static lighting, and let's grab our explicit influence radius, and I'm going to push that out to 256. So that's going to be a lot of blue light coming off there. Now let's close this down, and I'll come back out here into the room. The last things that I want to uh, deal with in terms of emission are going to be these fluorescent tubes. So we'll grab the both of these, and I have some settings in mind for these two. So we'll go ahead and expand all the way down to the light mass settings. And these are going to get an emissive checkbox, and then we're just going to set the radius to 512. They're going to actually be pumping out a lot of light, but you're going to find that the lighting, this yellowish lighting we've got, is going to take a lot of effort to kind of outstrip, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later. We're actually going to add in some light actors to sort of make up the difference. The only other things we have that are using emission are these little hose stations, and there's only two of them. So I'm going to grab both of them. Let's go ahead and press F4. Now for the settings on these, let's jump into the light mass settings. We're going to leave these fairly simple. Uh, let's just go ahead and switch on emission. We're going to set our radius pretty small to 128, but because these are fairly dim and I do want to see a little bit of light coming out of them, we're going to jump up the emissive boost to 3. Really all that's going to do for us is here in this back room, we're going to see a little bit more light over here in the corner. So that'll take care of that. Now, once again, we need to do a build to see how this looks. Now, I just want to remind people that this is generally not how your lighting is going to go. It just kind of works in terms of a video. If you're lighting things on your own, don't be surprised if you've got to make a tweak, rebuild, like it or don't like it, then tweak something else and rebuild. There's a lot of back and forth, and I'm just trying to uh, spare you a lot of that build process. But what we're going to do now is end this video, we'll do a build off camera, and then when we come back to continue, the lighting build will already be done. So that's going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot. <laughs>